Here we go. We are here with famed Penn State quarterback Sean Clifford. It's about to just move an inch over it towards Sean. And we are at the Sirius X backdrop. We're at the backdrop. And uh, great to see you, Sean. How's your week going? It's been great. You know, just being able to get out here, see a bunch of the active players, legacy players. And on top of that, just building your brand, getting on Radio Row, just being able to talk about what you do outside of football. It's been a lot of fun. We're, we're at 97.5 HD2. Rover Sports are also on Jacob Media YouTube and Slaughterhouse Sports. This is Spencer G. So, I know you have some questions. So, for Sean, I mean, you were at Penn State and, and probably, yeah, you were there for like four or five years. So you probably took some classes and, and do you want to go into media after football or what do you like to do outside, outside of football? There's a potential there. You know, I, I love the business side. I, I, I love being able to, to get with uh, the different brands. Really, you know, build my brand, but also build the brands of other athletes. You know, my, my company at Limitless and I'll just being able to to really help assist with this crazy world that we're living in with NIL. So, right. um, you know, it, it's those passions that really drive me. And we'll see. We'll see where it takes So me. you got one year of NIL. You probably are a little jealous maybe of the kids that have four years of, of yeah. NIL, right? A little bit. A little bit. My brother's there right now, and he's, he's, he's seeing the benefits. So, you know, I'm, I'm not jealous as much as I'm just excited for the, for the young class coming through. It's good. Uh, it's a long time coming. And, it is. And the fact is, those guys are doing great. I, I think it's good for college football fans because – People, you know, they want to stay in college. Absolutely. So people uh, actually will do very well in college. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's the key is, is really focusing on the athlete, making sure that they're kept right, you know, they, they're in the right headspace because at the end of the day, the end goal is still the end goal. We all want to make it to the NFL. So making sure that they can stay on that path is, is the key. Sean, I even like at the one thing that you could say about the pandemic, the one positive thing maybe is the fifth-year rule, and I actually like how college guys get, like, that fifth year. And for you, you probably developed even – Mm -hmm. into your into your senior season winning that Rose Bowl when you got to the Packers it probably for you was easier to handle because you played all those years of Big Ten football at Penn State yeah absolutely I think that the extra year that COVID year that we were given a lot of guys just ran with it you know I, I, I can say I was included in that group you know the Rose Bowl really gave me a lot of momentum heading into the draft process to be able to kind of speak my story tell them you know why there was highs why there were there were lows and, and, and state my case of why I should be able to be in the NFL. Yeah, and those people are probably just trolls that are saying, oh, Sean Clifford's still at Penn State. You probably got, how many times have you heard that? Oh, I've heard it a million different times, a million different times, a million different ways. But badge hey, of honor. You couldn't be beaten, man. But, You're the QB1. You couldn't be beaten. No one's hey, going to come take it. Yeah. At the end of the day, what I appreciate the most about fans is that it, it's, it's literally in the word. It's fanatics, and they really care, and they're passionate about their sports team. So I always ask guys, like, would you want it any other way? I'd rather be being booed in front of everybody because they actually care. Right, because if you played other teams in the Big Ten, we're not going to say names, but, yeah, they can't. They, they <laughs> maybe fill their stadium halfway, but at Penn State, you're at Penn State and now Green Bay Packers. Such a traditional great fan base, right. isn't it, Green Bay? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been blessed to be able to be – I mean, Penn State – speaks for itself green bay speaks for itself i'm just able to be a catalyst of, of what i'm trying to do but also you know build amongst what what they already have so penn state you probably met a lot of philly people i did so how I'm, many I'm, texts did you get when you took down dallas i mean how much fun was that going into dallas ending that season yeah it was it was fun uh my fiance is actually from philly so uh so we had some good laughs over that yeah. oh absolutely and then midway through the year you could tell like jordan and this offense was coming along jade and reed you could tell that these young receivers were clicking like halfway for this season oh absolutely it really you know we went three and six to start the year and everybody was kind of doubting us but at the same time we we knew what we had we've seen it in otas we've seen it in training camp so being able to to bring that to uh to the to light at the end of the year but that matt lafleur offense about, uh, yeah. romeo dubs i know he's maybe one of your favorite so we, we take a like because at people. nevada like we would stay up late and watch pac 12 now rest in peace pac 12 but <laughs> of course it's strong like we did you yeah, say carson strong actually, in nevada uh, you saw romeo dubs probably just being a college football guy you probably absolutely. saw him yeah, the, tearing the it up carson there. strong was just an unbelievable college quarterback oh yeah and it, as you well know yeah i mean it it shows. I mean, Rome, Rome is our, you know, one of our top guys, a guy that is really dependable, especially in the red zone, being able to, to finish drives in the end zone. That's what we always talk about. We always want to finish with the gold. 
So being able to get in the end zone, Rome is a is a is a great example in that. And you know, obviously with with Carson in Nevada, it, it works. Yeah, and then you got Dontavious Wicks. You got a lot of weapons. A lot of guys probably hitting you up saying, "Oh, fantasy football." You got a lot of wide receivers <laughs> here, right? Oh yeah, I get texts about fantasy all the time. I I try not to entertain it. Uh, you know, with the with the, with the rules of alongside. Course you don't but, be uh, helping you anybody with but, a little hey, side cash. All, all a little I say, side action. All, all I yeah. say is, hey. They're, they're, they're going to have a great year. They're going to have a great game. That's all I can allude to. So, so Matt, Matt LaFleur, I mean, this offense, it, it must be fun kind of learning the LaFleur offense. Is it a little similar to, to Penn State in any ways, or is it – how has it been learning, I guess, this offense? Yeah, I mean, the concepts that you get in college are very similar to the NFL, and, and really at the end of the day, you know, Matt is stemming from a long line of great OCs. I mean, you got Sean McVay, you have Mike McDaniels, you have – Kyle Shanahan will be displayed this weekend, and it's all the same offense. And what I really learned is that that system breeds great quarterbacks. It allows you to really not only focus on those details, but then kind of be become your own self with it. Well, that's fantastic. Well, be sure to meeting you. We wish you all the best for the past.